Hey everyone, it's D here from CoinKite. And today we're going to be exploring our new NFC push transaction feature. Before we begin, you're going to want to make sure that your cold card queue or MK4's firmware is up to date. Let's get started. Once you're signed into your cold card, scroll down to the settings menu and hit enter. Now, scroll down to NFC push transaction and hit enter. It will now give you a brief description of what the NFC push transaction feature is and hit enter. From here, you can select coldcard.com, mempool, or a custom website to broadcast from. We selected mempool in this case. This is the same setup process for the MK4 as well. Now we're gonna move over to Sparrow to create the transaction for the cold card to sign. At this point, we already have our Sparrow wallet set up and we're ready to spend Bitcoin. We're gonna go over to the send tab and enter in our information. That includes the address, a label, and the amount of Bitcoin that we wanna spend. Once we're done inputting our information, we can click Create Transaction and Finalize for Signing. Now we're gonna save the unsigned PSPT onto our SD card, or you can export it via BBQR as well. Now that it's saved, let's go back to our cold card to sign the transaction. Insert the SD card into the cold card queue. Once complete, click Ready to Sign. Once the transaction is finalized, the NFC screen will pop up, signaling that the device is ready to be tapped and the transaction is ready to be broadcasted. Once the link shows up on your phone, make sure to click it and it will bring you to mempool.space. Your transaction is officially broadcasted and waiting in queue. And that's it, now you're done. Now we're gonna show you how to do it on the MK4 as well. Since we broadcast the old transaction, we created a new transaction, selected it on our MK4, and click the check mark to confirm. The transaction has been confirmed and we're ready to tap it on our phone and broadcast this transaction. And there you have it. The transaction is successfully broadcasted and is in queue. In conclusion, we've created the transaction on Sparrow, put it on an SD card, signed it on our cold card, and broadcast it on our phone, even in a different location perhaps. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more information or to make a purchase, head over to coinkite.com.